Today we are going to create a simple game using Python Turtle. We are going to work on the repelit.com. Let's create a new program, create repel. We are choosing Python and let's give a name, a simple game. We are going to use Python Turtle, that's why I'm going to import the PyTurtle library first. And also I'm going to use a random library, that's why I'm importing random library. First of all, I'm creating a window, let's call it win turtle.screen and let's set its size, win.screen size and x and y 500 by 500 and let's give a title for the window I'm calling that catch the turtle and background color will be light blue And that's all. Now let's create the player. Player turtle dot turtle. We created the turtle object and we called it player. Let's give some properties for player. Player dot color first. Let's set it will be dark blue. And players shape. I'm going to use the shape triangle and shape size let's set shape size I'm making making it two and we are, I'm creating an endless endless loop uh, the loop which is going to repeat forever uh, by writing while true it's always true that it means this loop is repeats always and I am moving the player forward in each repetition it's going to be it's going it's going forward by one pixel now let's check so we have a Turtle dot turtle. Yes, I need to write your turtle. So you see that now it's going to the right side, and I am setting making some arrangements. I'm making some, I'm changing some settings here. I'm closing them, and I'm making this window maximize. Okay, let's do it maximize again and I am remembering this setting remember maximized okay now let's try again I'm running So it's going to, going to the right side. So it's going to the right side. Initially it goes to the right. That's why it's moving in each repetition. One pixel it goes to the right. Okay, I want to control this player using left and right keys on the keyboard in order to do that I am going to listen the keyboard that's why window I am listening listen and if there is one key press on the window it can be called used on key in this situation we are going to call a function turn left for example if someone presses the key left key on the keyboard 
we don't have turn left function for now so we have to define it def turn left and each time when we press left arrow key on the keyboard the player will turn to the left by 30 degrees the same thing we, we, we need to do for the right arrow key so will be called turn right function when we press right arrow key r is capital here so i'm copying this and I'm calling that turn right and we are turning to the right by 30 degrees okay now let's run okay left key I'm pressing and you see that it's turning to the left by 30 and right key turning to the right by 30 degrees while it's moving it's also drawing but for our application I'm going to remove that this is the first version of our game let's continue with the second version and in the second version so we are going to add a target that uh, when our player touches the target uh, target is going to change its position first randomly the target position will be set okay let's copy and paste the player and we are creating one object more and I'm going to call it target one so I'm calling it target one so the settings for now the same target one and it's going to be let's make it orange and it's going to be circle and shape size let's make it three okay also we are going to take the target one to a position go to but this will be set randomly that's why we are going to use random library random dot run it run int so it's going to generate an integer number and randomly and uh, in the turtle the center is zero zero that's why our screen is divided by by two if width is 500 by two if we divide it 250 and i can write minus 240 by plus 440 this is for x the same thing I am going to write randoms for y. So minus 240 by 240. So it's going to generate a number between minus 240 and 240 for x and for y. So let's check. So you see that it's set there, but it's while it's going, it also draw. Uh, uh, and and let's here write that before going target one, one point pen up. So it's not going to draw now. Also for player, we can remove player drawing using pen up. So it's going now. Okay. When it touches and it's going to disappear. And no, it's not going to disappear. It's going to change its position randomly. So let's write this code. We are going to check it always. Uh, it touches it or, or not uh, in the while section. And we are going to measure the distance we are now going to have a look at the distance between them if player a distance and target one so if the distance between player and target one is less than 40 pixels uh, this this can be changed in this situation we are going to change change target position 
uh, randomly so I can copy and paste this code here the same code will be so now let's check in the output so when we touch it changes its uh, its position And this is the second version of our uh, simple game. Now uh, I'm going to add score and when I touch the target each time the score will be increased. Initially it will be zero. Okay, in order to do that uh, I'm going to add one more. I'm going to create one more target. I'm going to create one more object and let's call this object uh, score and I'm going to take target settings copy and paste and let's call it score in fact we don't need all of them for so go to will be let's choose uh, right upper side 200 by 200 so X and Y will be 200 and it's going to be pan up we are going to use we, are, we don't have any shape and let's make its its color red and also we are going to write something there we are going to write the um, how many times the count counter will be so uh, score dot write we are writing something there and firstly let's let's write score and here curly brackets we are putting and and that is that format and in the format we are going to write the variable the, our counter let's call, let's write let's create a variable here counter it's initially is zero and here we are writing counter and now let's see it the score so it's written here score but it's very small we can change its format and first uh, let's change its alignment align is equal to center and also its font I am changing it's going to uh, be courier and the font size 24 and its style will be normal it can be bold italic and etc now let's see the output so its score is zero okay and each time when we touch the um, target with player we are going to increase the counter and we are going to show uh, this score again so each time when we touch the target we are increasing the counter value counter is equal to counter plus one we are increasing it by one after that we are going to clear score because we are going to change it and we are writing again the same score and I can copy and paste this code that will be the same okay now let's check we are going to the target and you see that our score is increased so we created a simple game maybe this this game will can be useful for children to improve their um, skills using keyboard skills or something like that and here can be added some sound or background picture or can be added the speed functionalities and the the game can be improved thanks for watching see you in the next video